I came to learn the, about the capital stewardship when I was in the service. It was, uh, it was said that the church will need to do it for the purpose of the Kabuko church. And I did my commitments when others were doing it according to my ability. However, I didn't have enough money to do the commitments, the monthly commitments as it went on. And uh, for some times I stayed without doing it. However, I was convinced uh, that I needed to do that. When I was convicted, I didn't have enough money to do that. And the little money I had was already fitting in the budget that I needed to run my man's, uh, man, man's affairs. So, but the conviction that was in my heart was that I would give that and God would be able to supply. And I thought that even if God doesn't supply that, I would still be able to borrow maybe and push the man to the end. I did give my money on that Sunday for the pledge. The week that followed, I was guided, in God's grace was guided into a deal of uh, leasing a ground somewhere, which I had thought would be a good idea, but I had not followed up seriously since I didn't have money to develop. But I was led to this man that had a plot uh, in a prime area, and this plot was going for a lease. I went and talked to the man, the owner of the land, it had been, uh, a lot of people had expressed interest at that time, but I got the favor of God to go and get that land. On that ground, there, there was a lot of construction material. There was a ton of uh, a, a lorry of ballast, a lorry of sand, and some stones, some hardened iron sheets, a big gate. The plot was fenced, and uh, by God's grace, I got the favor of the of the owner of those things. They were all sold to me at price that was much cheaper, actually less than half the market price. And uh, I bought that those material, and I've used those material to do some construction of a kind on that ground. One thing I would like to encourage everybody uh, in the church and everywhere is that when we give, we give into the Lord, as the Bible says. It is never a loss given to God. And I wish to encourage everybody that according to God's will and according to our purposes, let's do it and trust God for what follows. A book of church plant, and I get a call from God. I can get a Nijagiri on the Koruta to add the church. I have been blessed, let all the Kuma Hedeo, then you let a book of a guy. Siana Siakwani to me said that Yamoto Rede, to a Koro to a Hamwewea, to a Tora Nakina Poikina, um, Biasara Yakoa, Kuma Dahayana. Nituiketa ya udherema ni udosio gai wa muhe na ke niyari uso kagelia Rita na regi Ugu nijo kegi ya gai gado ni udokuma hedeo nini gionete guoko wake Mwahe ya na na ke gai no wali uso kagelia So thank you so much and God bless you For the 22 years that I've been a born-again Christian, I have discovered that there is a great connection between my personal life and my commitment to the work of God. When, whenever I bring my resources, my time, my commitment to the work of God, great things do happen in my life. And as I start here, I am a testimony that God does things when we are in close contact with Him, when we relate with Him. In 2 Chronicles 2020, Jehoshaphat is telling the people, listen Judah and Jerusalem, have faith in God and you will be upheld. Have faith in His prophets and you will be successful. God dwells in the midst of His people and speaks through His prophets. And this house, Karura Community Chapel has our pastors uh, led by the senior pastor and God has put in them a vision 
to elect the Karura Worship and Community Center. And all we need to do, all that God is calling us to do, is to have faith in His prophets and we'll be successful. Think about success in all perspectives, in your perspective, in my perspective. We only need to do one simple thing, have faith in what the prophets are telling us to do. David, on the other hand, after he has brought back the Ark of the Covenant and he has done the dance, the famous dance that you know, he tells the prophet Nathan in 2 Samuel chapter 7 that, look, here I am dwelling in a house of cedar while the Ark of the Covenant dwells in a tent. That tells us that there comes a time for a change. The Ark of the Covenant had dwelt in a tent for a long period of time, but David realized the season and the timing of God. And here we are uh, in this season of moving Karura Worship and Community Center from a tent into a permanent house, partnering with God. Let me say this, that the Word of God is true. And the Word tells us in Luke chapter 6 and, and verse 38, that give and it shall be given to you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. This season, as you establish uh, uh, Karura Worship and Community Center, it's a season of giving, giving your prayers, giving your time, and more so, committing your resources to God. How good it is when we commit our wallets, our finances, into this kind of work. For these 22 years that I've been a born again Christian, I have one testimony, something I've experienced, that you don't get poorer by giving to the work of God.